All right, welcome everyone. My name is Kurt. I am a comic book colorist. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And today we're going to talk about coloring grayscale art. I, I've, I've got this request a couple of times over the years, and uh, it is different. It is very different from coloring a drawing that is uh, just black and white lines. So this drawing I did uh, a few weeks ago, you know, kind of has a full range of value from lights to darks. And that's really the big difference to me about coloring grayscale images. It's so much of a colorist job under normal circumstances to set up those lights and darks and values. And in a drawing like this, they're already there, okay? And so to me, the, the color becomes about getting the midtones right and choosing colors that work well with the existing established values. So what makes this different from a technical standpoint? So if I was doing this in the traditional coloring way, let's say, then I would set this uh, drawing layer to multiply. And then anything that I wanted to do uh, color-wise, I would do underneath, okay? Now, so what I'm doing here is just coloring in with that, uh, that blue color. Now, you can see what this does though, is as I color this in here, I've now squashed all of my values right off the bat. So like immediately any color that I put underneath this is going to impact those values because obviously we're just seeing basically right through uh, the drawing because of the multiply mode. But I've worked very hard on these values. I wanna keep the values, all right? So there's a better way. Now I could, again, there's a lot of ways to do this kind of stuff. I could go in with just brighter colors and, you know, and basically go back in and recreate my values again, which is what that feels like. <laughs> I don't want to do that again. I want to use what's here. And so I'm going to delete this uh, color layer here. I'm going to set this back to normal. I'm going to make another layer. And this time I'm going to put it on top. Okay. Now, uh, obviously, if you try to color on top, it will just color on top, just like that. But if I set the mode to, where is it? Overlay. Uh, overlay is kind of a special mode that is great when you want to color midtones, and you also don't want it to impact your lights and darks very much, okay? So overlay is a little unique that if I pick a color that is sort of a midtone color, it's kind of halfway between uh, the lights and darks here, You'll notice when I start filling this in, I'm keeping my values. So it was a quick kind of side by side to sort of show you the difference in the two. On this one on the left, I've got the drawing and multiply mode. And I'm just going to pick a blue kind of in the middle and color underneath like I usually would. And again, you can see that I've really affected the values. It's much, much darker than it was before. But if I take that same drawing, put a new layer on top, set it to overlay, now when I color on it, you'll see that that same blue is coming through, but it's letting those lights and darks that are underneath take precedence. And that's sort of what's unique about overlay is it's looking at what's underneath and determining it's more important. At least that's what the math is doing. <laughs> it's not actually making determinations. So basically overlay does not step all over your values, okay? Which is very much uh, what coloring this kind of drawing more traditionally would do. And so, on my actual drawing for this, I went through several stages of kind of testing colors along the way because I haven't done a ton of this myself. But what is what is so neat about overlay is, again, because those washes are already there and are already sort of establishing the, uh, the underlying uh, values, then we can really focus only on, you know, what the color actually needs to be. You know, this, this particular design is sort of based off of, uh, not sort of, it is, it's based off of the design from uh, Batman the Animated Series. And I'm just doing this real quick just to show you guys how it might work. If we go back and look at my actual original here. By the way, this file uh, is available uh, for my patrons. If you're uh, on my patron, you can... If you sign up for that, you can go download this file, all my layers, play with it yourself. I also do a live class every month uh, giving feedback for all my patrons and uh, YouTube members. That was like an ad, sort of. All right. <laughs> anyway. But if we go back, this is the original, like I said. Uh, if I turn everything off and look at what was underneath, I actually did a few uh, sort of color tests 
along the way, basically, as I was getting further and further into it, uh, just to see that it, what I was planning was going to work. And so I probably spent about 10% of the total time that I spent on this coloring. It took almost no time. Um, now, the other thing I want to point out that I did here is there are scenarios and there are times, like, for example, the, the blue light that I have sort of emanating from his neck area. Um, in real life, this would be really distracting, but it looks cool. So there are scenarios where you want those values to change a little bit. You know, if I wanted to make something glow brighter than it is here, well, then trying to do that on, you know, on an overlay layer is going to be kind of hard to do because uh, you can you can make the colors very bright, but it's still going to show some of those darker colors coming through. So that there might be scenarios where you want it to just be brighter. And in those cases, I personally like hard light for that. Uh, if I make a new layer over here, set it to hard light mode, uh, this is a really good mode when you want to have something actually uh, brighten over, uh, you know, over something like these washes here. Like if I do this, uh, you know, these bright, whoops. If I do these bright colors down here, it's going to also brighten everything else. You know, so if there if there is a scenario where you want to lighten something or darken something, of course you can use that, uh, or just a normal mode that works too. But the real key with coloring something like this is to get the values right to begin with. What what's underneath is really what makes it because and you can set up all the detail you want, take all the time you want to get all the detail in there uh, at the early stage. That way, when you do get to the color stage you're not spending as much time in details because it's already there in the underlying, you know, value drawings. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, do check the links in the description. I try to keep this channel going. <laughs> and uh, thanks again for being here. Subscribe, like, comment, press buttons and all that stuff. And I'll see you all in the next one.